Welcome to Modern Aikidoist Podcast. My sincere thanks to listeners and those who have liked, subscribed, and commented. Your interest is noticed and deeply appreciated. This is a very special episode, and I'm delighted to finally be able to make this announcement. The announcement is that Lenny Sly, Francisco de los Cobos, and I are forming the Shinjitsu Aikido Alliance. Shinjitsu means reality and truth, which is our core value. We wish to gather those who are also interested in Aikido as a practical martial art which is self-defense capable. This alliance is not structured like a typical Aikido organization, but more of an affiliation of Aikido practitioners who want their Aikido to be martially viable and are looking to learn from one another. We are taking the concepts of video sharing, such as on Lenny's Rogue Warrior TV channel on YouTube, the information sharing on Aikido the Martial Side Facebook page, and the Modern Aikidoist podcast, combining them and taking them to the next level. Francisco and I will be making instructional videos as well, so there will be a bunch of new material. We're interested in a greater level of collaboration and mentorship than exists right now, which these platforms just cannot do very well. YouTube and Facebook have provided a very good start, but are not capable of going much farther. We are building a kind of Aikido university in the ancient Greek tradition, where interested people of all levels can gather, share knowledge, and learn from one another. When we gather and share ideas, the best ideas rise to the top. A rising tide raises all boats. Good ideas will prevail on their own. We're building a library of material members can use for inspiration, get new ideas and perspectives, so members always have new material to work on for their own training. This alliance does not compete with existing organizations and does not require anyone leave an organization if they are already in one. All we are looking for is to share resources and help those who would like it. We can also provide assistance and support to independent dojos, which there are many out there. It will take time to build and we're just getting started. One of the challenges is figuring out the best way to deliver all the material we have in mind. We want to combine the best of what we have so far and add to it direct collaboration and mentoring. This means you are not limited to just watching a video, but can chat with the instructor to help you on how to integrate the material or assist you working through issues you may be having with it. An aspect to this comes from the different personalities and approaches of the three founders. Each of us has our own strengths and weaknesses, and things we disagree with one another about. However, that doesn't mean we don't have a great deal we can learn from each other. We certainly can improve each other's skills and knowledge by working together. So how exactly is this going to work, and how is it going to get started? The platform we have chosen so far is a subscription-based video delivery platform, which allows delivery of not only video, but of other files such as study guides and other written materials. We have set up a Discord server, which is a chat-based text communication center, which also allows voice calls among multiple parties. Discord is both PC and mobile friendly and is a popular new standard for groups to communicate. It also supports file transfers. There are two main video deliveries that we want to bring members. First, frequent videos on single concepts that Aikido practitioners can use in their training. Second, full certification courses in specialized subjects. The single concept videos are focused on a particular technique or principle and show it from a standpoint of how to train and teach it. The important aspects of how to get started with it will be pointed out, as well as common mistakes to watch for and correct. The certification courses include full progressions on how to build up skills in a particular area, starting with the fundamentals all the way up through full application. A few examples of courses are Practical Self-Defense Aikido Techniques for New Students, Yubi Dori or finger techniques and the many ways to train and apply them, integrated grappling and groundwork into Aikido, and comprehensive randori training from bottom to top. These courses are just a start. We have many others too. A certification course covers everything needed for a group to train beginning students all the way up to full competence. You would provide the practice, but we would give you all the guidance you need to get skilled with them. These courses also include mentorship from the instructor to help you hammer out any issues or difficulty you might be having achieving success. Finally, they would include a video assessment to attain the completion certificate. Mentorship and accountability are what is missing in merely sharing videos on YouTube. We want to help you build practical skill and are willing to get involved with you to do exactly that. Other fields are using online certification courses to great success, and this is a model which could work for Aikido too. The internet is a way for us to share training and teaching without being limited by geography. It is also the most cost-effective way to deliver comprehensive training to you. 
It's our intention to take advantage of internet tools and use them to their maximum potential. We have chosen a subscription model to deliver this content to you, and we did so for a number of reasons. We've all gotten used to getting free content through YouTube. Unfortunately, those days are ending, and it has nothing to do with people who have created content. It has to do with YouTube. What most people who watch YouTube don't realize is that YouTube changed its practices recently, and it has had a huge impact on content creators. Since YouTube started using advertisements, they did a kind of profit-sharing program where they gave content creators a small portion of the ad revenue. While content creators weren't reaping any windfalls, they brought in enough to make the hours they spent creating their content worth the time. That is until late last year, when YouTube slashed the percentage they were sharing. Every content creator I've heard from had their revenue, regardless of how much they were making, slashed more than 90%. If a content creator brought in $2,000 worth of revenue per month, they were paid about 125 bucks. This is for producing many hours of video content, even one or two videos per day. YouTube is clearly shifting away from user-driven content. No one in their right mind would take on a part-time job for virtually no compensation. And this is a recipe for failure. Personally, I find ads irritating anyway, so we aren't going to have any. Subscriptions seem like the most logical choice to cover the time and expenses involved with producing video and the involvement this project will require. We want members to get a great variety of material to choose from, which they can access at any time for new ideas and inspiration. Someone sharing their knowledge and instruction deserves some compensation, and those who are willing to support such an effort prove they are serious about building their skills. The subscription levels will be silver, gold, and platinum, with rates being $10, $20, and $30 per month, respectively. The higher subscription levels receive more material, resources, and access. Platinum members will also get discounts on the certification courses. We will be publishing details about the subscriptions as they fill out. There is still much to do. We also envision traveling to do seminars as interest demands. It's our goal to do our best to provide quality instruction via video, which might be the only practical way to expose people who are interested, due mainly to people being all over the world. The certification courses are meant to go even farther than a seminar could because it's nearly impossible to get in-depth learning from only a weekend of training. How is it going to get started? Everything starts small and grows from there. We are not going to open the floodgates right away. We want to start with about a dozen Aikido practitioners who are serious and committed to expanding their Aikido and bringing new things into their practice. Those first dozen or so are going to be our test group, and we want to work closely with them to figure out how we can best help them. Every practitioner and group has different needs, so how we help will be based on them and the things that they are most interested in addressing. If you want to be part of this group, please contact Lenny, Francisco, or me and let us know of your desire to participate. We will send you an invite to the Discord server where we will work with you and form a plan to help you from there. If you are interested in joining the Alliance but don't feel you're quite ready to be in the initial group, that's okay. We're working on an initial set of videos right now for our membership release, which we hope to be able to deliver in the next two months or so. When that happens, we will open the subscription service to the world and you can join in then. We'll be looking for help along the way too. One that we are looking for right now is translating the videos we film into other languages, either with subtitles or overdubbing. Interest is being expressed in our project from South America, Europe, and all over the world. Our content should not be limited only to English speakers. We'll deal with this as it comes, but if you would like to help with this effort, there are ways that you can. Let's find out how we can help each other. One thing I'd like to address that I'm sure many of you are curious about is whether the Alliance will offer rank. Our plans currently are to offer only certification via the courses, but there is discussion about offering rank as we grow and people show they are absorbing what we are offering. We don't have a timeline on that currently because our focus is only on helping build skills. There are no rank requirements for membership and all affiliations are welcome. We wish to put politics aside as much as possible as they tend to poison the art. The three of us founders are only the beginning. In time we want to include contributors who have constructive material to offer. As we get to know the people through the collaborative effort, we will find ways to have them share as well. Just as with the politics, we want to set the egos aside as much as we can. That may be a tall order as the martial arts world is notorious for inflated egos, but we're going to give it our best shot. We don't care about reputation or fame. Our priorities are on the skills and the material. 
A group who has the will and the drive to improve the art will do so. Look at the Gracie family. I know there's a lot of baggage connected to their name, but you have to admit they did a great deal for the art of jiu-jitsu. Now imagine a larger group with far more experience than the Gracies had to start out with, combining forces to help one another hone the art. We can do this together. The three of us founders believe that lack of money should not keep you from training or getting the help that you need. If money is an issue, please contact one of us and we'll work something out. Each of us love Aikido more than we love money. We only ask that you not try to take advantage of that, as this is going to take a lot of work and expense for us to put together. Where exactly will this project lead us? What will Aikido look like in the future? We won't know exactly until we get there, but making Aikido functional is a goal worthy of Osensei's legacy. Remember, the things you put your energy into are what bears fruit. The things you practice, you get better at. We would love for you to get involved. If you're interested and want to help us, we invite you to contact us. I'll leave contact links in the description. Please share your ideas in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. You can also go to the Facebook group Aikido the Marshall side and post a comment. Your input and engagement helps podcasts like these stay around. Please support it by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Enjoy your training.